hey welcome back to my awesome youtube channel guys and today we are discussing the topic of scripting in elasticsearch so in one video i will be discussing most of the concepts of scripting so this video might be a little longer than the others so what is scripting uh, here it says that with scripting you can evaluate custom expressions in elasticsearch so scripting will help us do any sort of custom evaluations that we want to do on the fly and generate say new sort of fields from the existing data and here it says that we could use a script to return certain script fields as a part of the search request very soon we'll be able to see all of this in action before that it says that the default scripting language is painless and now you guys know why the video is titled as painless scripting in Elasticsearch that's because painless is an actual scripting language so I have this page open right here. It says that Painless is a simple secure scripting language designed specifically for use with Elasticsearch. So Painless is a scripting language which is pretty similar to Groovy as well as Java. You can also say that it is kind of a subset of Java with certain added features which make it more scriptable. So anyone who knows Java or Groovy for that matter does not need to worry about specifically learning about Painless. But I would still encourage everyone to read it somewhat in depth from this painless guide uh, right here. All right. Now, painless is not the only language which is supported by Elasticsearch. It also supports uh, expression, mustache, Java. And all the links are given right here. So anyone who wishes to explore it is free to do so. And quickly see what is an expression. This is a concept called Lucene Expressions Language where certain javascript expressions are compiled into bytecode and used for scripting with elasticsearch and like always to know more about it please go through the documentation i will close these pages and we have the index here let us see how to use scripts so here it shows us the syntax the json key value pairs that we need to pass to elasticsearch to be able to use scripts now bear in mind that scripts can be used in various sorts of Elasticsearch expressions such as search, such as sorting, such as aggregations and so on. We will see a few examples of it in just a few minutes. The keys we need to provide inside this script key are language which we just saw could be painless, expression uh, and so on. We need to provide whether we are giving the source of the script that is the code of the script right here or are we using a stored script from somewhere in which case we need to give the id of the script and any parameters which is essentially any variable data that we need to use in the script right here just below this they have tried to show an example where they have a document with a certain field called my my field with a value of five here they have tried to perform some sort of a calculation on this field my field the language that they're using is expression here are the parameters which are being used in this script and this is the name of the field that will we will get in the result set all right then talk is cheap let's see the code here i am with my kibana console these are all the set of documents that we have indexed for this example i have already run a match query and we can see that all of these documents are indexed in Elasticsearch. Like always, we will learn by executing few examples. So the first task that I'm thinking of doing here is suppose I want to see the name and the job description in a single field separated by a comma. How do I go about achieving that by using a script? Let's see. Okay, so I will be sending a GET request to my user index and I would say, I want to search okay next I would tell Elasticsearch that I am looking for certain script fields the name could be say name with JD all right and inside the script I would say that the language I want to use is painless and next I would provide the source of the script and here I would say that I want to use the name params.underscore 
source dot nil here by using params dot underscore source we can access the original documents and by saying dot name we can access the name field in the original documents i missed a comma here so if i run this i can see that name with jd shows me the name so now i will concat this name along with the job description so let me just say plus comma okay i shouldn't be closing it uh, right here and then i say that i want to use params actually i'll just do a cleanup and we'll start again okay so i want to say that i want to concat a comma over here and then i want to use params dot underscore source source and the field i want to use now is job description let's run this and yes we can see that these two fields name and job description are connected via a comma okay guys so now the next task is for you to try and then we'll try to see the solution so suppose i want a scripted field called uh, say hiked salary in which we see the double of the salary so do try it out tell me what you tried in the comments below and then we'll see the solution so we are back and i hope everyone gave it a shot on their own so let's see how we can do this i have already copied this and now i will paste this here let's call this one height salary and it's really simple what we want to do here we just want to call this as salary and we want to multiply the salary by 2 we hit send and we can see that we see a height salary which is double of the original salaries to confirm that you can see that none of the guys here have a salary of 14000 okay let us try to understand one more concept here which is the use of parameters here we see that the first time Elasticsearch sees a new script, it compiles it and stores the compiled version in a cache and this compilation can be a very heavy process. Then it says if you want to pass variables into scripts, you should pass them in parameters instead of hard coding the values itself. So that in the future, if we want to change the values of the variable, recompilation does not have to be done. And it could save us a lot on performance and a lot on the execution time. As we can see here, the first example has to be recompiled every time the value of this variable changes. But in the second example, we can simply pass in another value of the parameter, but this is compiled only once. Let us go ahead and try this out. So I say that I want to use a few params out here and I call it multiplier and I could maybe simply use multiplier over here and i hit send hmm. i think so it should be params dot multiplier and yeah we see that we have the same result now let me also try the same thing in expression using an expression which is the javascript equivalent to this so i would say that i want to use expression i hope the spelling is correct um, so since this is JavaScript, I could simply say that from the current document, you could choose salary, could use the key salary, and we don't need to say params dot over here. It'll automatically pick it up. And yes, indeed, we have the same result. So expression or painless, whatever you want to use, it's your personal choice. So one more thing to ponder over here is that with my search request, I might not like to pass a script every time. How, how about I could, you know, simply store the script somewhere and then run it as and when I like. The good thing is Elasticsearch is giving me the capability to do that. So let me pick up the script from here and we'll try to save it in Elasticsearch. So I would need a post request on this URL for this. 
this is a custom name it could be anything uh, for this how about i call it calc um, hs okay inside this i have to pass a script which i just copied from above and we don't need parameters as parameters are variables and will be supplied with the request with the actual search request i i mean let's just indent it correctly and when i hit send okay so acknowledge true gives us hope that it is saved in the backend how about i pick it up and instead of post i send a get request okay i see that my script is saved now we will be making use of the script so let's copy this get request from here let us paste it here and in the script source i could simply say that i know the script id and which is calc hs i could simply supply it in here get rid of the language because it is already here the source is already here and yes i need to send the parameters yeah so the exact same result as we saw in case of these examples um, now suppose i want the salary to be say multiplied or hiked 10 times like who doesn't like that i can give in the number 10 and yes i see that it's working exactly fine now let us suppose all of this analysis that we wanted to do is done and we are ready to increase everyone's salary by say four times yeah that should be good okay so how do we go about achieving that to do that i will be hitting a, an endpoint which is called the update by query endpoint and we can see that it updates document that match the specified query and if no query is specified it performs an update on every document in the data stream or index so let's try it out Okay, so let us say uh, post the index we want is user and the endpoint is underscore update by query. And what we want to do here is we want to run a script. And this time I will be using the shorthand notation in which I don't need to specify the source. Uh, I mean, I need to specify the source. I don't need to specify the language and i can simply specify the source um, like this and elasticsearch will infer the language on its own so uh, let us say cdx dot underscore source dot salary equal to sorry star equal to four as promised Okay, so you might be wondering what is context CDX. CDX is a special variable which can be used in case of update queries and at a time CDX holds the current document. So in this case, each document's salary is getting multiplied by four and it is being updated in Elasticsearch. Okay, so um, firstly, let's run a match all query and we can see that our salaries are still what we indexed and when we run this one okay now let's run a match all again and well yes there is a four time hike for everyone woohoo all right so the next thing is the absolute last thing we will be seeing today suppose i have an aggregation on my user index so let me quickly write one down in which we are calculating the average of everyone's salary. Okay, so let me call this AVGS standing for average salary. The aggregation type will be average and the field that we want to aggregate on is salary. Okay, so this is the average salary. Now suppose I want to calculate the average of everyone's salary times two. How do I do that? I use scripts. So let's get rid of it and let's replace it with a script. Okay. And I can simply say params dot underscore source dot salary times two was it 
and I can see that the average salary has doubled because we have multiplied everyone's salary by two for taking the average. So that's all the examples that I had in mind that I wish to convey. But there are so many more places where scripting can be used in Elasticsearch and I encourage everyone to check them out. Here is the documentation for scripting and all of you can go through it. Here are all the pages which are the subsections in this section and it covers it in a lot of detail. So do read through it. And remember that only by practice and reading can you learn. So that's it for this time guys. What other features of Elasticsearch would you like me to cover? Do tell me in the comments below. If you like the video, do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please hit subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching.